Hey guys, uh, can we just request uh, all handphones uh, to be turned to silent mode? Thanks. for carbohydrates is higher. What happens? Within one meal, you wipe out all the benefits you got from the calorie burning effect of exercise. Exercise is to raise your basic metabolic level. So when do you stop? You do whatever you're doing exercise. At the end of it, you feel, okay, tomorrow I must come back and do this. That level is the level at which you stop. You don't come to a point and say, oh, yeah, tomorrow also I'll die. Like, you know? <laughs> that means you have over-exercised. Okay? So, exercise is important to increase your basic metabolic rate. Okay? But, exercise with consistency. There's only one habit that we have con consistent in our life, uh, life, eating. We never miss eating. <laughs> We miss a lot of things, but we never miss a meal if possible, okay? Now, treat exercise the same manner. Light exercise every day. You eat every day, you must move every day. You'll be amazed how much weight you can lose. For ladies who can't do much exercise on the heavier side, not used to exercise, walking. If you can walk, hey, I walk, doctor, I walk the whole day, you know. I have to look after my family, I'm on the feet all day. I work in the office, huh? I have to walk here, the whole day I'm moving around. They have attached a pedometer, which also measures calorie content, to busy housewives who are serving large families, five children and so on. And they have measured the calorie count that they use up. They find that it's about 200 calories a day. The job is tiring because it is repetitive. Not because you've burnt up a lot of calories. So if you think you're running around, I'm a salesman, you know, run around the whole town every day. The calorie burning effect is very low. You must do structured, measured physical activity. So exercise is important. Like I said, don't tire yourself. When you over-exercise, your body also becomes a little acidic. And that, when that comes about, you require more rest. Okay, so consistency is the one that will do the trick because that burning will continue. When you do exercise, basic metabolic rate goes up. It lasts for about 24 to 36 hours. 24 to 36 hours. So at the most, you can miss one day in a week. You must do it every day. And let me tell you, if you can do three weeks in a row every day, low volume of exercise, the feeling will be so great, you will not stop after that. When you miss the exercise, you will feel, yeah, something missing. Very important. Now, the next thing is, if you want to lose weight, you must sleep well. People who have inadequate sleep, increase body fat. When you do not have enough sleep, two things happen. One, stress. The next thing is, there are certain hormones to battle stress. So these hormones get released in the body. And these hormones do havoc. They raise your blood pressure, they raise your cholesterol, they raise your sugar levels. Initially, temporarily. New over a period of several years, then it remains at the same level, okay? The side effect of that hormone, among, after all the other things is, it also increases your appetite. 
okay, doesn't increase your hunger, it increases your appetite. In modern day, uh, no, very few people get hungry. We get an appetite. Sometimes, uh, you know, if you are a little late for lunch, you say, wow, I'm starving, I'm hungry, you know. No, actually that's only appetite. Now, when this effect comes in, the food that you will look for will be highly dense food, high fatty food. A very practical example, let's say you're working late at night. When you go for supper, say at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, what do you order? Do you order salad or do you order chakoy kya? <laughs> Even if you're given salad, you cannot eat it. You will find that at that time, the taste, because the, that's how the hormones react, you see. And it gives you the taste where only high or rather dense calorie food will satisfy you. Okay? So what happens? We land up consuming very high calorie food and we put on weight. Already your cholesterol levels, triglycerides, sugar levels are going up and down with late nights. Now when you put in foods like that, your problems will only double. So sleep is very important to reduce stress and to reduce this hormones that deal with stress. In Singapore, it is difficult to get good sleep. They find that to get good sleep, you must have a room that's completely dark, no light. With so many high-rise buildings in, in Singapore, you need double layer of curtains to block it out. And you should have that. Okay? Some time ago in Singapore, I met a man who looked like a mummy. And... Uh, I looked at him, he looks a little funny, you know? he was a very elderly person, so I asked him, how old are you? Okay, very well dressed, tie and all that, you know. Uh, this was in a, in a bookshop, this is a second hand bookshop. Second hand bookshops are uh, uh, unusual places. You meet very uh, people who are interested in the past, the history, and just to spend time talking with other friends. You know? So this man was there. Uncle, how are you? How old are you? I'm 102. Uh, of course, the first thing that ran through my mind is not that he's bluffing. Some people somehow old enough. Huh? They, they feel they're older than they're old. You see? So I thought, uh, I wanted to get some landmarks. Oh, I see. Um, what do you do? Uh, now I'm retired, but last time I was a reporter. When did you start? I was a young man during, uh, with the newspaper during World War One, Wow. Then uh, I began to think, maybe what this guy is saying is true. And I was looking at him, trying to get uh, identity to see how old he is. The only thing I could notice was his pants at the side there, you know, there was a, a, a band with a zip. That's right. Anybody seen that, uh, that, that technique, uh, that... Um, a method of uh, tightening the pants. I remember that from my childhood. That's about at least 55 years ago. And it disappeared after that. So it must have started at least 20, 30 years prior to that. So maybe not 102, but the guy was pretty old. You know? So I asked him, what do you do? What, what anything special? Food, nothing. Okay. Many of the normal habits that I ask, exercise, no. <laughs> no exercise. He eats anything that he wants. And looking at him, you know that he eats very sparingly, very trim, man, you know. Anything special you do for, uh, for yourself? You know, he mentioned something. He said, when I go to bed every night, I spend five minutes thinking about what happened during the day. Not everything. What unpleasantness happened during the day and I forgive all those incidents and the people involved. Wow! Fantastic! <laughs> if you do seriously do that, you can get very good sleep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you may want to have your own technique. And I thought that was a very good technique. Now, if you have not been sleeping deeply enough, this thing doesn't come within a few days. It takes a couple of 
maybe days, weeks, to get into the habit of going into deep sleep. It's only when you go into deep sleep that the body is able to do repair, which is what we think is missing in modern times. Many of us do sleep eight hours, but do you have deep sleep? One way of knowing whether you have deep sleep or not is whether you have dreams. <laughs> if you don't dream, probably your sleep is not deep enough. It may be nightmare, never mind. At least it's a dream. Sleep. Very important sleep in the for the process of losing weight. Okay? So work on it and try to take off your stress one by one. Okay? <clears throat> what else can increase basic metabolic rate? They find that if you <coughs> consume certain types of food, it increases the metabolic rate. For example, if you take a high protein diet, your metabolic rate goes up. Now, they have studied metabolic rates of all three races, and that's the great thing about Singapore and Malaysia. We can have a good comparison. The highest metabolic rate is among the Chinese. Okay? Number two, Indians. Number three, Malays. Malays have the lowest metabolic rate. Now, there are reasons for that. If you look at Chinese diet, what happens is, you will see protein in almost every meal. If you take the Indian diet, we are talking about mountains of rice, carbohydrate. Okay? Now, this has changed quite a bit, to be fair to us Indians, we have really learned our mistake, we have reduced that. So it's beginning to come uh, almost equal. But with this past history or experience, we know that's one of the reasons why metabolic rate is high. The second thing is, Chinese tend to eat more seafood. Okay? Not so much beef and mutton and so on. Of course, I'm talking about Chinese maybe 10, 15 years ago. Now Chinese also spoiled. All the mama shop, you see Chinese guys sitting there and walloping. And the incidence of diabetes and high blood pressure, cholesterol among Chinese has skyrocketed. Not so before. Chinese as a race have very low incidence of diabetes. I'm not talking about Singapore Chinese. <laughs> Chinese in China. Okay, the diet has changed. I still remember when I was young, Chinese will not in eat Indian food. They can't tolerate it. Okay? Or Western food. Today, they are looking for mama food, you know? <laughs> so much change. Eh? And nothing sweet. But today, we take a lot of sweet stuff. Protein in every meal helps to increase your basic metabolic rate. So you burn fat. In fact, the digestion of protein itself is a process where the body uses a lot of energy compared to digesting carbohydrates or for the better fat. So if your meals have adequate amount of protein for each meal, you will store less fat because you're burning more fat. Okay? <clears throat> then they find that if you clear your bowels regularly, you will not put on as much weight as you would otherwise. In other words, if you clear your waste matter regularly, then what happens is your liver is functioning at its best level. This is another problem in this part of the world. We have more liver problems here in most countries. The highest incidence of liver cancer is in Southeast Asia. Hepatitis B carrier status is very high here. And therefore, uh, we have vaccination programs, this, that. What we need to do is relieve the pressure on the liver. That can be done only if you drink a lot of water and make sure your bowels move regularly, which we do not experience. Now, you may be going to the toilet on a regular basis, day after day, every day, regular, and think that you don't have constipation. Remember, the large intestine starts on the right side. Up, across, down, out. You may be just passing out only this part clogged up here all the way and thinking every day I go to the toilet. Okay? Once in a while you get a giant movement. You notice? All of us do that. Say, so, wow, so much. You know? That is what you should be getting on a daily basis for the amount of food that we eat. 
but we don't do that. Now, the, the whole intestinal system is your second brain. Our personalities can depend on how our digestive system works. This is the largest collection of nerves and therefore that's the brain number one. The second largest collection is where? It's in the solar plexus. You hit somebody hard there, you can kill the person. Now, this collection of nerves supplies all the internal organs here, including your intestine. So you can say it's literally the second brain. It can feel. That's why when we have a sudden, you don't expect anything, suddenly you turn around, you, something unexpected, <gasps> you feel something here. Because it feels. That will react onto your intestines and they will contract. That's why we do not have regular bowel movements. Okay? Let me give you a more graphic description. You want to go to the toilet, quite urgent, okay? But then, let's say, I mean, the building is on fire, you don't feel like going to the toilet anymore. So just thought process alone controls it so much. Reflexly, automatically, or for the better passing urine. Bladder may be full, but what happens? Oh, the bus has come, you know, you've got to get on to the bus. You can't miss this bus or whatever. So, these things happen, and that's the reason we need to do exercise. It helps to relieve stress and you can move better. So if you do not move your bowels well, your liver gets congested. Because when you have constipation, when you reabsorb more waste matter, now you have to detox again. And that's a lot of load on the liver. Many things go on in the liver, and I'll give you only one example. Thyroid produces a hormone called thyroxine. And there are two types, T4, T3. T4 is produced by the thyroid. It must be converted to T3 to help the body do the work it does. And this is the only thing in the body or in your diet or whatever that can burn fat and burn cholesterol. But the T4 must be converted to T3 only in the liver. So if your liver is inefficient, the conversion will not be complete. So you go and test with the doctor for your T4. Unfortunately, most GPs check only T4. You see? And they say, your thyroid is normal. It may not be normal. You need to check T4 and T3. You see, this is not a major contribution, but a significant contribution to fat maintenance. That's why those who have X, there is a disease which is called hyperthyroid, where you have excess thyroid. What happens? They lose weight. Even if they increase their eating, they lose weight. You see? So if the thyroid is not working well, it's not that you got low thyroid. You may be inefficient in your thyroid function and you can put on weight. And that could, in many instances, be traced to very poor bowel habits. Okay? So, if we set these things right, we could re result in very good weight management. You can have almost ideal weight, you will feel good, you will prevent yourselves from getting unnecessary illness. Okay? Now, how can we do that? You can't do that by the methods that are available in the market today. One very popular method is meal replacement. You want to lose weight fast? Excellent way of doing it. So you replace your meal with a drink. How long are you going to do that? You have now lost weight. What happens? You go back to your regular meal. You put up again. Then you got to repeat the program. Okay? Same thing with the spa treatment. Okay? You will have to go back and repeat it intermittently. And each spa treatment is not cheap because it involves a lot of physical labor. People have to sit around with you, talk to you, do the wrapping for you, rub on you, you know, massage and so on. So, very expensive. The best way, the most effective way, the most healthy way, when you lose weight, many things happen. When you lose weight in an illegal way, according to the body, one of the things is you get more wrinkles. Okay? you'll end up being less healthy because your nutritional status is down 
and you might not function that well. And sometimes we promise ourselves, I won't do this again. Like this loss of weight and makes you weak, you know. You know? Okay? The best way to avoid all that would be to follow this program. Okay? Now, let me quickly tell you why we claim this to be the best weight loss program in the market today. Because it follows all the principles it reinforces all the protocols that I told you. What we have are three products. Cleanse, something that will help to burn excess fat, and something that will help to continue to do that while you're resting at night. So the first one is, the product is cleanse. Now, this one has got one ounce of our flagship product called Premix, which has got all the vitamins and the minerals and antioxidants you need in a day. One day you need two ounces of this mixture, which we sell separately. But if you take the weight loss program, in the three items that we have in the weight loss program, we have added one ounce of that and so you get a little bit more than you need in a day. You're going through a weight loss program, you may need a little bit more nutrition than a normal 24 hour requirement and therefore we have placed it in such a way that you get a 50% extra. And we are not even talking about your diet, we're going to get something in your diet also. But this one makes sure that you are not low on the nutrition that is required. Okay? Now the cleanse has 10 grams of fiber. Any program that gives you a cleansing effect must have fiber. How much fiber do we need? We need at least 18 grams of fiber per day. At least. Okay? How can you measure fiber? Very difficult. How, we, the whole thing is in food. How do you know how much fiber? The very crude way, but the easiest way is after you go to the toilet, look back to see what came out. Many people don't look at it. Look back to see. If, it is, if your residue is floating, you're taking enough fiber. If it has gone underwater, your health is also going underwater. <laughs> Very simple. If it is not floating, obviously the next couple of meals you have to add more veggie or fruits or whatever. Okay? So that's a very rough way, but if you need specific figures, it's about 18 grams. Now, that has been revised. They are saying now that you need a minimum of 14 grams per 1000 calorie that you take. Okay? This is just to throw some figures around and I'll tell you how easily it is done. Now, 10 grams of fiber in this cleanse, one ounce of the nutrition that you require. We have put in 10 herbs that will cleanse your intestinal system. These herbs are to support your liver to put out more bile. Bile is waste matter. Okay? Bile is waste matter. When it comes out from the gallbladder, from the liver into the gallbladder, into the intestine, it must continue to come out. It mustn't stay in the system too long. Waste matter in the system too long, some of it gets reabsorbed. Okay? So, we are putting 10 herbs to stimulate the liver, support the liver to put out the bile, to stimulate the intestines to move better, to clear the lining of the intestines, all necessary to clear the bowels. We have also added, in addition to this fiber, two types of fiber. One is soluble fiber, and fibers that are two types, insoluble and soluble. Insoluble is more like a broom, it cleans, it's a bit harsh. Soluble will absorb, maybe I should use the word ad, adsorb. A lot of stuff that goes into our system that is found in food, that's not good for you. It just touches on that, picks it up and takes it out. Two types of that. We also have one antioxidant. 
resveratrol, which is very popular nowadays. Okay? Now, we already have antioxidants here. By giving you one ounce, we are giving you almost half of the antioxidants you need in a day. This is added to that. Now, it's been found that when you take several items in small amounts, the beneficial effect is much better than if you take one or two good things in large amounts. The summation of small amounts of good stuff when added becomes many times better. And it is safer because when you take only small amounts of certain stuff, there's hardly any side effect. By the way, all the herbs that we have added here are classified by FDA as grass. Not because it is grass. <laughs> this is a short form for generally recognized as safe by FDA. Now, herbs doesn't mean all herbs are healthy. Some herbs can heal, kill you, you know. Poison ivy, you take it, you will die. It's a herb, you know. So many people believe that if you take herbs, herbs are natural. No, natural does not mean it's good for you. The table, wooden table is made from wood, tree. It's natural. Can you eat it? You can't. You know? <laughs> so natural automatically does not mean it's good for you. And that's why it's important that it comes under this GRAS. Okay? What we use is grass. All the serves. Now look at the second one. The second one, okay, cleanse is taken in the morning so that you clean up your system. Because that's the best time your system is ready to move. First thing you wake up in the morning, you may not go to the toilet, but you know the feeling is there. That's the best time to get a good clearance. So take cleanse and take some, mix it in water because we supply it and you've got a, a sample, I believe. Now the cleanse come in concentrated form. Some people like to drink it straight, which is okay. But with the herbs concentrated, you might the taste might not be that ideal. I would suggest you add some water. Anyway, early morning when you take it, you require some water. Whole night you have not been drinking water. Sleeping, is it? And those of us who snore, you actually lose more water when you breathe through the mouth. So mix it in water and take it. You, sh you will get a moving experience within half an hour. Okay? So time it in such a way that you don't get caught in the jam when you get that experience. <laughs> huh? Start with the weekend so you will know how long for your system takes. Some people get it in 20 minutes, some half an hour, some maybe 10 minutes. So uh, then you will know right exactly when to take it. Now that is just to clean up. Then burn. We call this burn because this provides the maximum burning effect. We have provided 20 grams of protein in one serving of burn. Now that's a fair bit. Uh, there have been uh, uh, suggestions that we should give more. You see, when you take a lot of protein, not all gets absorbed by the body. 20 is about the optimum. And this is in a hydrolyzed form and therefore easily absorbed. Okay? Now, <clears throat> we have also added some herbs here. One of it is L-theanine. Okay? Now, theanine is a herb that is obtained from green tea. It has a lot of effects. What we hope to achieve here is to <clears throat> reduce stress. When you have stress, there is a hormone that is released called cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that helps the body to store carbohydrates. Cortisol is very good to help you to handle more, uh, stress, but after that it must clear, you see? But what happens is, we have continuous stress, stress which we don't need. So this herbs, I mean this particular herb will help you to relax a little bit. It's not that it will make you lembe like that, but all these are just enough to give that slight good effect. <coughs> then we have added other substances herbs also to increase the
the BMR. Okay? Now, 10 grams of fiber. With protein, it's good to take some fiber. So we have provided 7 grams of fiber for one serving of burn. Now, rest is another formula that we suggest that you take 30 minutes before you go to bed because this will really give you a good deep sleep. The combination of certain amino acids there are such that it will give you a good deep sleep. Okay, Make sure that you're, to have good sleep, your last meal should be at least two hours before you go to bed. You cannot have the switch here off and the switch here working full time. If this is full, you cannot sleep. And if you sleep, oh, it will be very light sleep. Right? So the last food should be taken at least two hours before you go to bed. Okay? But this product can be taken 30 minutes. Because, the, by the way, the rest also we provide 20 grams of protein. Now, this protein is a pre-digested protein. In other words, it's very easily absorbed and that will keep your stomach satisfied so that you don't wake up. Some people who are used to supper, if they don't have anything late at night, they cannot sleep throughout the night. They can have at 2 a.m. something very hungry. Now, this will keep you going. Okay? We also add, because there's protein, another 7 grams of fiber. So in other words, if you take the very, very basic program, you will be getting 10 plus 7 plus 7, 24 grams of fiber. That is good enough for a 1,800 calorie diet, which is what we recommend. Okay? And I'll talk about that, what to eat later. Okay, so these are the products that we have. Three products to be taken at different times of the day. Okay? Now, any weight loss program must not sacrifice normal diet. Otherwise, we won't stay with the program. It must not compromise on the chewing of food. If there's any diet where there is a meal replacement, one meal, go, 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 you drink, you may feel full physically, but you don't feel satisfied. They find that chewing is very important. We chew food and that also produces satisfaction. So in our program, we say eat four to five times a day. Now let me explain that statement. Okay, this is the product that we have. At the same time, you can take your normal diet. What we suggest is you take four to five meals a day. Listen to this very carefully. What you take in 24 hours should not increase, but should be spread over four to five meals a day. That means your meals have to be a little smaller. Okay? Now, why do you do that? If they find that if you eat small meals more often, your basic metabolic rate goes up. But the total amount eaten must be the same, not more, okay? Now, when you take four to five meals, you have to reduce the size of, <coughs> size of the meals. Which part of the meal do you reduce? We suggest that you reduce the meal by reducing the carbohydrate. Okay? Don't have to eliminate carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is what gives you a sense of satisfaction. That's why when you eat rice, you feel satisfied. When you, during carbohydrate digestion, there is a <coughs> enzyme relieved in the brain called serotonin. That gives a very nice feeling. That's why some people are addicted to carbohydrate. Rice, rice, eat a lot of rice when you don't need that. Because it gives you a nice sensation. Now, you reduce carbohydrate, don't eliminate it. Okay? You do, you do that by doing that. Eat slowly. Now, I won't, if I take four meals, uh, I won't get angry, uh, hungry by, that, uh, by the next meal because I, I take a longer time to digest. Four meals are uh, morning, afternoon, 
lunch and then evening tea and then night dinner. I don't get hungry. Do I still eat? That's a very good question and a very good measure. If you do not hungry, get hungry by the next meal, the previous meal was too heavy. Then you adjust. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, like that, ah? Huh? Not much, you know. <laughs> I didn't eat that much, you know. Cut down some more. Yeah, maybe that's your requirement. Okay? Make sure you have everything. Every meal you need to have protein. In other words, you must have some meat or fish or egg or beans if you are a vegetarian. Okay? So every meal has a protein. Vegetable, no problem. If you feel you need to eat a little bit more, eat more vegetable. Don't take fruits. I'm going to be criticized for this. Okay? Now, today we focus too much on fruits. Fruits has a lot of sugar. Hey, natural sugar. Sugar is sugar. Natural or not natural. <laughs> Okay, I'm saying no fruits, then I know that most people will take some fruits. La. If I say you can eat a little bit, they eat more. You see? <laughs> yes, you can take some fruits, preferably take neutral fruits that are not sweet. <clears throat> and you'll be surprised, papaya is okay, though it tastes a little bit sweet. Okay, guava, pear, apple, these are okay, but don't eat too much of them. Okay, uh, you'll be surprised. Fruit eating in large amounts is a recent phenomenon. We don't require that kind of uh, energy level. Only monkeys need that. They eat, uh, they eat fruits and nuts, you know, you know. Their diet is different. So keep your fruits to, uh, I think partly because one of the concepts that came into the market is eat your fruits before the meal. Are you familiar with that? It's more healthy and so on and so forth. Now, they've done a lot of studies on that and they find that it's not 100% true. For some people, it works wonders. Take some fruits before a meal, wait for a while, then you have your meal. For some people... So they studied, how did we get the habit of eating fruits after a meal? And this is what they find. That when you end a meal with a dessert, you feel good. Because everything is cleaned down, you see. Nowadays, we have high calorie desserts, which is not what we are supposed to eat. The dessert is supposed to be fruit. And then, next thing they find is, when you, after a meal, if you take a fruit and really chew it well, it clears the mouth of any acidity and creates an alkaline environment, reduces tooth decay. Now what? Eat fruits before or after? <laughs> So you choose la, you know, what suits you best. <clears throat> okay, but keep it to the minimum. So carbs must be down. Each meal must have a protein and veggie. If it is, you need something more, then you can have a little bit of carbs. Okay? Now, the next thing is, we find that if you restrict your carbs, the body can tolerate that for a while, and then after a while, the f when you restrict carbs, the body switches to burning fat for energy, okay? But when you restrict carbs for too long, the rate at which it burns fat comes down. The body senses that food supply is getting a bit of a problem, so we better start saving, you know? And so the rate at which it burns fat comes down. There is a hormone called leptin that mediates this action. So, physiologists have learned that if you restrict carbs, now the body cannot get carbohydrate, burns a lot of fat, before the rate goes down, you introduce normal carbs. Then the body feels, hey, supply is not, not bad, you know? so it will keep burning fat at the same rate. Then you take it out. So while it's continuing at the normal rate, before it drops, you reintroduce again. In other words, this what we call this is carb cycling, which is not well understood by a lot of people who uh, engage in weight loss programs. 
That's why we have a booklet called Body Basics that explains how this cycle works, how you can take advantage of taking normal cups and satisfy yourself in between. So we have a program which sticks to your normal diet. You can eat almost the way that you want. And then, this is something that you can follow all your life. In fact, you know what? This is how food was eaten in those days. Every day people did not have everything they need. Two, three days, no food. Not much food, not much carb because nothing to be found. Cannot hunt the animal. Then after two, three days, wow, one good feast. Wall up, up to here, is it? And they did that on and off. And they all trim and healthy and so on. That is what we are using here, this carb cycling method. And I'll explain that in a short while. Yeah? So, we have those three products that you take, and we work on a cycle. We would suggest a three month program. In other words, week club, 12 week program. Why do we choose this? Many things happen in the body if you do it on a cycle of three months, approximately 100 days. One, all your blood changes every three months. Okay, that's why uh, recovering from uh, pregnancy uh, delivery, they say 100 days. You see, this three month thing is, is in all civilizations. Uh, recovering from an illness, renewing yourself. It takes, I think it is unconsciously based on the fact that all your blood and we have about five liters of blood changes every hundred days or so roughly three months now and here it's a bit shorter because we go by weeks so 12 weeks now what we do is we do a cycling and this cycle lasts four weeks so in other words you repeat the cycle three times okay what is that cycle? First week, we have a, 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 a rhythm. Second week, we have a rhythm. Third week, rhythm. Fourth week, you eat the normal diet that you are eating every day. Okay? Then you repeat that, and then you repeat that, and you can go on repeating that. That can be, this is, can become a lifestyle actually. Okay? So, what we have is this. The first week, you need to take all the three products, which means cleanse, burn, and rest. Second week will be burn and rest, burn and rest, burn and rest. Food, there is a rhythm here, there is a rhythm here, here, and here, you take a normal diet. No restriction. Don't go overboard. Don't go for durian every day. <laughs> durian, by the way, is a very fattening um, fruit. You have to be very careful. Why I say careful is Singapore is the only place where you get durian throughout the year. Durian is a fattening fruit, and that's why by nature it's only seasonal. But because Singapore imports from all over the place, uh, you get it throughout the year. You have to be careful. Okay. So, this cleansing is only for the first week, which is seven days. You don't have to memorize this. The body basic book lays it out. I'm just trying to give you the, the concept behind it. Now, the cleansing is for one week, seven days. At the same time, you start your burn and your rest at night. Okay? Now, this will clear your stuff. Now, during this one week, your eating pattern should be like this. We have, sorry, uh, seven days. For two days, you take low carbs. Okay? Go as low as you can. Don't kill yourself, you know, trying to struggle. No. Go as low as you can comfortably. Okay? Then the third day, you take normal carbs. Then another two days, low carbs again. 
you will be surprised how low you can go with your carbs because you have a lot of protein in this meals. When you take this, you get at least 40 grams of protein, which is a good amount of usable protein. When you take meat, you get protein, but that meat comes with fat also. This is clean protein, okay? So you take low carbs, normal carbs, two days of low carbs, take normal carbs, okay? Seventh day, celebrate your effort. Okay? Seventh day, you go out, take the family, eat what you want. Okay? Again, I say, don't go overboard. Eat what you feel like eating. Ice cream, um, pasta, or anything. You know? This is one week. So you do that, repeat it the second week, repeat that the third week. Now the fourth week, you do exactly what you did on the seventh day. Fourth week, you do that every day. Okay? Not every day celebration. <laughs> Eat normally. By then, you will know exactly how to enjoy food and feel good after a meal. Don't take meals that after that you feel like that. That means it's not good for you. Okay? Now, here is an ideal program for you to lose fat without losing muscle and bone. This one ounce of uh, premix that we provide in each can, though the preparation is different, one ounce is the same. You get three ounces. Okay? Now, those of you who are big, who want to lose more fat, I would say add another burn in between here. Okay? This burn, ideally, should be taken in mid morning say about an hour or so after your breakfast. Though the literature says take it in the morning, but in the Western country they've got a slightly different approach. I would say one hour after breakfast, because you want to have some breakfast also. You take this first thing in the morning, 20 grams of protein, you don't feel like taking breakfast. And for us psychologically, no breakfast, we mean, uh, yeah, not worth it, life not worth it. Right? So, take it. Now, mid-afternoon, or late afternoon is the time that you feel like having a cup of tea, curry pap, or something like that, you take another burn. So those of you who are a little on the heavier side, I would say two burns, mid-morning and mid-afternoon. And you will be surprised at how well your fat loss works. Okay? Now, though I gave you a very long story, it boils down to this. What we are doing is, trying to take advantage of the natural processes in the body to get back to that rhythm to help the body to maintain normal body weight so if it is excess it will burn it off and you know what those who have low body weight if they take these products they will put on weight okay so occasionally you're going to meet people who are very thin and they say, you got anything for this? Huh? Tell them, continue with their normal diet, only for low carb days and all that, and take this product with the, with the nutrition that it contains. You are getting one and a half times your vitamin requirement, one and a half times your mineral requirement, okay? With 40 grams of protein, you're getting a full day's protein requirement without the food. So if you continue to take your normal food, all these low, uh, thin weight guys are going to put on weight. Good weight, not fat. Okay? So the focus today is actually on more fat loss, but this is how very thin guys can take use, make use of this. Why? That's why is it able to work both ways? Because we are taking advantage of the normal body physiology and cycle. Okay. Food. Hungry. <laughs> now, I will pause for a while to take some questions on what I've said. Maybe you want to ask some questions. All right, guys. Uh,
and uh, uh, JD, are you ready with the uh, samples? JD, are you ready with the samples? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Um, tell what, uh, what's up, uh, let uh, our participants uh, go back, get their samples. Okay, uh, you can uh, try the body burn. <coughs> Anyone who has got a kidney problem should not be involved in this program. Okay? All the others, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease, they will feel much better if they take this program. They shouldn't stop their treatment. Please be uh, clear about that. Medical treatment is something different. They must continue with that. But they will, they will experience a very healthy weight loss, a drop in their cholesterol levels, better control of sugar if they do this program. So, uh, Doctor, so even a diabetic, they will be able to do this program safely. That's right. All right. One of the things that they find about diabetes is if you get protein at every meal, your just protein, their control of blood sugar throughout the day is much better. And they also find that diabetics are very low in minerals. And remember, you're getting three ounces a day, which is more than what your daily requirement is. Yeah, but, uh, but doctor, um, our uh, cleanse, burn and rest is sweet. It tastes sweet, but um, will they get sugar overdose? This is a question that is very frequently asked. Sweet, you know I'm a diabetic, but if you look at the diet they take, they take more sweet than body or premix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they will complain, oh your product is very sweet. Now, let me say this, taste of sweetness and calories were the same before. It's no more now. We now have sugars that are 300 times sweeter than sugar. In other words, you can take something very sweet and be only one or two calories. Okay? Mentally get that separate. Now in diabetes, you need calorie control, not sweetness control. Okay? But most of the time, sweet things are high calorie. Lah, no? But with our product, the calorie content is very low. For example, in our premix, <coughs> one ounce is only about 30 calories. When you look at your daily requirement of a diabetic, 1,500 calories. 30 is nothing. So if you take a full dose, you're going to go only about 60 or so. Okay. Now, in this case, the week that you take cleanse, you're going to take three ounces of the premix. You're talking about less than 100 calories. So calories should not be a concern with this product. How do you talk so much about food? You know what? If you do exercise the way I mentioned, your weight loss will be very dramatic. When I say weight loss, fat loss will be very dramatic. Now, your weight may not decrease a lot. Many people get upset with that. You see, bone, muscle, fat. Fat is actually oil. You put oil in water, it floats. You put a piece of meat, it will sink. Meat is much heavier. Bone is even heavier. So when you exercise, your muscle density will increase a little bit. Your bone density may increase a little bit, which is very good. You may reduce your body fat quite a bit. But when you take the weight and balance up, the total difference may be less. I weigh, I weigh 100 pounds. I lose 10 pounds of fat. But I put on a little bit of muscle, a little bit of bone. That would have contributed, let's say, 5 pounds to my increase in weight. So my total loss is only 5 pounds. So when you look at the thing, only so little. Ah. But actually you have lost 10 pounds of fat. And that's what we want to achieve. Okay? How to see we lost fat? 
you remember I was mentioning uh, this weighing machines that are available. Uh, it's not very expensive. It was very expensive at one time. Uh, they probably will cost about 30 to 40 sing dollars. Uh, you can have fat measurement percentage. It looks like a weighing machine, simple one. It's got some ribs over there, it's on a battery. It sends a very mild current through the body to measure. and then, So it takes a few seconds. It's not something that comes on the moment you step, like weight. You know? It takes a few seconds. Ah. Fat measurement, huh? Or, if you go to the gym, they have a more complicated one, complex one, more accurate, where you have to hold on to two bars and stand there. They have a same, same concept, electrical current going through. You won't feel anything. You get electrical <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Guys, uh, any more questions? Okay, hey, boss? Yeah, I think our limits, uh, we do, we did do some uh, product comparison uh, when we have our limits. But how about our, our body? Because I think in, in the market, there's like, so many different, different companies, different products. And some, some people say, hey, this company very, very good. I, I'm not sure how, how to... How to compare? USP? Uh, what is our USP? Unique selling point. What is that special about us? Okay. <clears throat> if I have to summarize, uh, put it this way. Um, the product that we have, all the ingredients are something that works with your body rhythm and physiology. Okay? And the program that we have put out works with the normal lifestyle that we have. So it doesn't upset anything that you do. Other programs, the closest I can think of is a meal replacement. Very good products, don't, don't get me wrong. Some of their meal replacement products are excellent, tastes very well, works very well. But it replaces your meal, so it changes your lifestyle. Okay. And the number of products you may have to buy in a meal replacement program is quite a lot. And uh, you need to keep tab on, you take this at this time, take this at that time, and so on. You see? The cost factor is another thing. Now, some people might say, hey, your products are expensive. Uh, I didn't talk about maintenance. Okay. If you feel that you want to continue like this, you could continue without these products. That's the, not the best statement for the company. But <laughs> <laughs> okay? that, that, that's what we teach you in the lifestyle thing. But to make it a bit easier, you could just take rest. After you achieve your uh, ideal weight or you feel comfortable, you could just continue with rest. That's enough. But with the other programs, you have to take the whole lot again. You know? So you not only pay a high price, you're off it for about six months, then you go, have to go back to it for, with a full program-like thing. You see? And in what we have, we also give you your daily nutritional requirement. In fact, even in excess of that. The products out there do not have that. They have only weight loss ingredients. They do not have the maintenance one. Your daily vitamin requirements, antioxidants, your minerals. In fact, there are very few mineral products in the market. Minerals are such that their toxic levels are easily uh, exceeded, unlike vitamins. So many companies are scared to provide these products. We do, because we know exactly what we are doing. We are one of the few companies where we design the products, we produce it, and we market it. Most companies get it from a third party, and they market it. See? So they're not in charge of their production uh, techniques and so on. We do the research ourselves, design it, produce it in our own factory, 
And in fact, we go to great lengths to make sure that we don't have preservatives and things like that, which sometimes works against us in the sense that when you don't have preservatives, short lifespan, and we got to produce all the time to keep the products fresh. And uh, I'll say one more thing is uh, Bima's products are manufactured in an FDA inspected facility. Uh, there's only um, five in the world uh, right now, or in the US, that is having that kind of uh, certification. So, yeah. That's right. <clears throat> Thanks, James. That, if you're not familiar with that info, uh, just a, a short explanation. FDA certified certification is necessary only for drug manufacturing, not for food supplements. Okay? But we have raised that to the level of a drug manufacturing standard so that we are one step ahead of the others. Yeah, so on a personal basis, uh, for, for me, I feel that the USP for Vima body products is, uh, it is not just a weight loss product like what you mentioned, Doctor. All right, it is a lifestyle management program. So even after we have completed our 12 weeks uh, uh, weight management program, uh, this one can be done on a lifetime basis. Yeah. So uh, other programs may not be able to do that. Now, is that all? The company is not stopping here. They are continuing to look into make, making things even better. So as time goes on, you will see more improvements in this product. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, Jaya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sir. Uh -huh. I caused the uh, what the uh, bone uh, aching something like that. Uh -huh. So what is your advice on that is it bone pains, you know, uh -huh. people think. Is it uh no uh, because they say when they bring the green tea separately, only green tea itself, uh -huh. this will cause them a uh, bone pain, something like that. But this product is been mixed, so is there any other like that kind of effects? Very good question, very big question actually. Now, the product, you mentioned that there's some green tea thing in your product. Now, what I heard is, if you take green tea a lot, you can get some joint pains, bone aches and so on. Now, <clears throat> two parts, uh, uh, two part answer to that question. Consumption of coffee, Tea, green tea has skyrocketed around the world. Okay? So what has happened is you need to product, produce more uh, of these products faster. And when you want to do that, you have to grow it on a commercial scale. When you grow it on a commercial scale, you've got to use pesticides. So many of you who go to Starbucks and uh, San Francisco coffee, watch out. Many of these products are grown in plantations where they use heavy pesticides. And these drinks are drunk at very high temperature, hot. So they get released into the drinks, you know. So be careful when you uh, choose your coffee beans or tea and all that, okay? Now, we are safe from that because we don't use the whole green tea. What we extract is a part called EGCG. <laughs> so technical. It's a compound. Is the uh, is a compound that is good for the body. So yes, we use green tea, but we take out only that. So we leave everything behind. And this is this this substance is known uh, E G C G. <laughs> Did I say that it's a real medical doctor? <laughs> <laughs> So they take out only that part, and that's the beneficial part. That's all that we use from green tea. Just like in our pre-mix, we use green tea extracts. Which part? The antioxidant part. So we don't use the whole green tea. You see?
question? Many questions? Some more? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, this, in the market, uh, for this uh, streaming grid, uh, you currently you can see, probably I talk about the cover line, you can see, very famous in Singapore, every corner you can see they open it. But what I monitor is uh, the Apocalypse and our system, the convenience for preparation, the special thing to prepare uh, code here, but all this code. That's right. But uh, you see, they're also promoting a lot of uh, this kind of uh, minerals, you know, uh, can be used to be. Uh, so, for Vima and that, I think this is, this is the model is not so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's my question. Okay. Uh, this is a meal, uh, meal replacement program. Uh, Herbal Life does that. Um, this brings us to a broader question. What is available in the market? Uh, there is now a berry, extract of a berry, it comes in tablet form, and if you take that, come again? Uh, the, you take that, you reduce body fat. Okay? They have done studies and they find it works like a miracle. It works like a miracle on who? On rats, <laughs> not on human beings, is it? Uh, that is in the market. With that thing, they are now running in the market. You see? Okay. Now, meal replacement, as I mentioned, uh, I have looked at the herbal uh, life uh, range of products. I must say, it's excellent. Okay, very good. Okay. What is not taken into account is the lifestyle. Replacement of your meal, how long? One month, two months, then? When you go back to the meal, how? You see? So, if you plan to go on Vima lifelong, but you want a quick one, maybe you can use Herbal Life and then switch on to Vima and whole life take Vima. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't have to change your lifestyle too much. You see? <clears throat> uh, these products are in the market because they do work. But here, we are looking at the long story, the wholesome part of it. Uh, that's what we have to offer. Um, some people even market acai berry concentrate to lose weight. Does it work? It does work. For how long? Not very long. Why does it work? Because of the high antioxidants. Why get acai berry? Get Vima. We give you three ounces that gives you 150% of your daily antioxidant requirement. Okay? That's why, I mean, I, I'm not a very strong ardent of taking products for weight loss. But looking at our program, it provides you nutritionally balanced weight management without upsetting your lifestyle. So even skinny people can be on the program. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure. Sure. I I like questions. You know why? Because you one person asking, I can give the answer to everybody. I like I like to talk a lot to people. So last week I met one street guy. He tell me you know the cholesterol contain all this blood. Is from the gene. It's not uh, really the food does not affect the the the, the high cholesterol all this time. No. So is that true? Because you see, last time we would have this kind of person to check on DNA all this time. Mm. Now we have like, mm. we do a lot of research and stuff. So do you think the, the food contribution can offend on the cholesterol? I mean I mean I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> There was somebody who made the comment that uh, cholesterol levels of blood is not related to the food that you take, uh, and there is a strong um, genetic element in uh, your blood cholesterol elevation. Uh, I would say he's 51% correct. <laughs> Now, they find that about 1% of the people have a genetic element where they cannot handle the excess fat that you take. 
When you're young, you can eat anything that you want. Your cholesterol is normal. What happens? The body knows how to take care of excess cholesterol. Where does it come out? It comes out in the bile. Now, as we get older, these mechanisms also get older. So they do not eliminate all this extra stuff that efficiently. Okay? And we continue to eat like a young person. We may have problems. Now, you know? now cholesterol is not 100% related to your food, which is correct. 80% of the cholesterol is produced by the body. So vegetarians who don't take cholesterol, there's no cholesterol in vegetable products. Okay? Vegetables don't have cholesterol. They have studied vegetarians and many of them have high cholesterol. Where do they get it? Because the body produces what it needs. Okay? Now, can it go out of control because of your genetic problem? Yes, in 1% of the people. The rest of them, it is due to lifestyle, stress, and refined food. What is refined food? Food which has been cleared of some nutrition. What is cleared from the nutrition? Usually vitamins and minerals. Because when you refine food, then you can store food longer. If food is not refined, it doesn't last long. That's why white bread, you can leave it on the table for one week, no problem. If you have whole wheat bread you leave in, within two, three days, you will see fungus growing. Even fungus knows which bread has got more nutrition, so they settle there and grow. <laughs> so when you have refined food, less vitamin, less minerals, you have problems now. Now, that's why in Bhima, uh, we, we, the, the vitamins and minerals, we give in one serving the whole daily requirement. Of course, you get some more in food, but at least you know for sure you get it. All right, Amy. Yes. Okay, some people are very skinny. <laughs> Uh -huh. But some people maybe night time cannot sleep well. So can we advise rest? Like this auntie, uh, she tell me, she rest in a very healthy woman. But she take no, um, rest, one bottle, she uh -huh. spray it in two days, half a half, half, arrange one bottle. Okay. Uh -huh. She put on it. And she see nicer. I'm not sure. <laughs> Actually, you have answered two or three questions at one go. You know? yeah. There are people who have got normal weight or low weight but can't sleep that well. Rest will really help you to have good sleep. When you have good sleep, your stress hormones are less. And if it happen to you, maybe a person who is underweight, you will put on normal weight. And rest has got 20 grams of protein. It's going to make you look more turgid and better. Uh, okay? My wife looks like this. Honestly, honestly. Better than this. Uh, one month ago, I see a big fantastic. I also want to see it. And the protein is more collagen protein, you know. They are selling a lot of collagen to make your skin look better. We should be taking rest. Uh, so, so. We not only get collagen, but we get <laughs> rest also. Okay, question. Um, let's say if after I finish my 12 weeks program, uh -huh. uh, after I finish my 12 weeks program and I want maintenance, all right, I can always go on burn. I can auto ship burn and take burn for the rest of my life, for example. All right, or can I choose rest? Yes. Which one is better for me? Depending, so, uh, yeah. both are good, equally good, depending on the requirement. If the guy has no problem with sleep, then burn. Now, if you find that he needs uh, something to help him really have, get good sleep, but the same effect of the protein and the fat loss, rest. Okay, but if, for, for me personally, I'm the kind of person that um, will start snoring before uh -huh. my head hits the pillow. So I've got no problem with sleeping. But uh, can I still take 
rest, okay, and sleep largely better, and still do sleep. Like I mentioned, if you snore, you may be having a sleep problem. <laughs> slight, slight, uh, but anyway, I, I've got yeah. sleep apnea. Uh, I went for that operation before. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So I understand what you're trying to say. Uh, but right now, snoring a bit softer, lah. Okay. Yeah. So which one should I go for right okay. now? Now, if you feel that you're sleeping well, and you want to know whether you really slept well, how do you feel in the morning? If you feel rested, then your sleep was okay. Okay? You don't need rest. I would suggest burn. But if you wake up in the morning and you have slept eight hours and you still feel probably rest would be a better choice. Okay. Another question. Somebody is not fat, not thin, very healthy, can run marathons and all that. Alright? But they have got insomnia. They suffer from insomnia. Are we able to recommend rest to them? Someone who runs marathon probably requires higher protein consumption. Now, when you need higher protein consumption and you get it from food, uh, you are adding quite a bit of calories. Okay? Someone who runs marathon, the body is under stress. I normally advise people don't run marathon. <laughs> we were not meant to run like that, you see. Uh, I always tell them, remember the first guy who ran the marathon, he died. So, lately, this is coming up because marathon runners are dropping dead. Okay? And the studies they've done on them shows they are getting mineral imbalance. They call it electrolyte. So, if at all they should be taking any product, they should be taking Vima. That's right, because of the mineral content that we have. So, rest would be ideal for them. Maybe, if, I mean, those who are heavy into marathon, I would even suggest two cans a night. Mm. All right, two all right. Units, yeah. Good information. Yeah. All right, guys, any other questions? There's a chance, man. No, Angie? What's the difference? Uh, yeah, what's the what difference? difference? Now, carbohydrate is a big topic. We need carbohydrates. There are two types simple carbs, complex carbs. <laughs> Vegetable is complex carbs. That's what we we advise you to take. Simple carbs will be rice, bread, prata, um, mee, mihun, koitiao. All these are simple carbs. Okay? So reduce simple carbs. Okay? Uh, one part of the question is bread is also carb. So if I switch to from rice to bread, it is still carb. How is that? Now, when you take rice, we take rice this much. When you take bread, maybe two slices, the flour that goes to make two slices is only this much. If you squeeze the bread, you'll find that the flour is very little. So two, maybe three slices will satisfy you. But you have taken much less flour than the rice. And by the way, some people, not some, quite a few Asians do not tolerate bread on a continuous basis. That's because of this gluten thing. There are a few other things. So to overcome that, I would suggest toast your bread. It's far easier digested than just bread. Just toast the bread. Yeah? But I, I, actually, uh, my mate came over with us after one month, increased 5 kg. Because she ate a lot of bread. Which country does she come from? Uh, the Philippines. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, white bread or wholemeal bread? Will there be a difference? Will there be a difference between white bread and wholemeal? A lot of studies have been done, and frankly, some of them are not reassuring. 
they find that the difference between a good quality white bread and whole meal isn't very much in spite of the a lot of uh, articles that have come out saying whole meal, whole meal. Huh? They find that some whole meal can raise your blood sugar faster than white bread. So what do we what do we do? I would suggest a good quality white bread is fine. Now what about whole meal? If you're going for whole meal, you must go for a full whole meal. People who sell bread are actually bluffing sometimes, you know. So if you if somebody says this is whole meal bread and the price is only fifty percent more than the white bread, that's not really whole meal. A whole meal, whole meal eh, will be four or five times costlier than, yeah. And you get it only from special bakeries. So either this or that, don't buy the in between. Uh, <laughs> yes. White rice, this much. Ah. Big rice, also this much. White rice, unpolished rice. Okay, between the two, which is better? Unpolished rice is better for sure. Now, now they have unpolished rice which looks white in color. So, <laughs> uh, so this brown rice thing is you know not hundred percent true right now. You see, now um, I feel that the white rice which they say uh, unpolished is actually polished now. This rice, they've crossbred and all that. They've got rice now with higher fiber content. So even if they polish it, there's higher fiber. Okay? The true unpolished rice, only Indians take it. So if you're not used to the taste, you will not like it, is it? So you could still go for the white rice, which is high fiber. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. I call. So, what is your advice on this? That is, it most pains, you know, uh -huh. people think. Is it, uh, you know, uh, because they say when they bring the green tea separately, only green tea itself, uh -huh. this will cause them a more pain, something like But this product is being mixed, so is there any other like, that kind of effects? Very good question, very big question actually. Now, the product, you mentioned that there's some green tea thing in your product. Now, what I heard is, if you take green tea a lot, you can get some joint pains, bone aches and so on. Now, <clears throat> two parts, uh, uh, two part answer to that question. Consumption of coffee, tea, green tea has skyrocketed around the world. Okay? So what has happened is you need to product, produce more uh, of these products faster. And when you want to do that, you have to grow it on a commercial scale. When you grow it on a commercial scale, you got to use pesticides. So many of you who go to Starbucks and uh, San Francisco coffee, watch out. Many of these products are grown in plantations where they use heavy pesticides. And these drinks are drunk at very high temperature, hot. So they get released into the drinks, you know. So be careful when you uh, choose your coffee beans or tea and all that, okay? Now, we are safe from that because we don't use the whole green tea. What we extract is a part called EGCG. <laughs> so technical. It's a compound. Is the uh, is a compound that is good for the body. So yes, we use green tea, but we take out only that. So we leave everything behind. And this is this this substance is known uh, E G C G. <laughs> Did I say that it's a real medical doctor? <laughs> So they take out only that part, and that's the beneficial part. That's all that we use from green tea. Just like in our pre-mix, we use green tea extracts. Which part? The antioxidant part. So we don't use the whole green tea. 
You said many questions, some of them? <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, this in the market, uh, for this uh, streaming radar, you know, currently you can see, probably I talk about it's a cover line, you can see, very famous in Singapore, every corner you can see they open it. But what I monitor is uh, the Apokan and our system, the convenience for preparation, the bring a special thing to prepare, uh, go here, but for this, that's right. But uh, you see, they're also promoting uh, a lot of uh, this kind of uh, minerals, you know, uh, can be used to be. Uh, so for Vima and that, I think this is, this is the product is not so good. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. That's my question. Okay. Uh, this is a meal, uh, meal replacement program. Uh, Herbal Life does that. Um, this brings us to a broader question. What is available in the market? Uh, there is now a berry, extract of a berry, it comes in tablet form, and if you take that, come again? Uh, the, you take that, you reduce body fat. Okay? They have done studies and they find it works like a miracle. It works like a miracle on who? On rats. <laughs> Not on human beings, you see. Uh, that is in the market. With that thing, they are now running in the market. You see? Okay. Now, meal replacement, as I mentioned, eh? uh, I have looked at the herbal uh, life uh, range of products. I must say, it's excellent. Okay, very good. Okay. What is not taken into account is the lifestyle. Replacement of your meal, how long? One month, two months, then. When you go back to the meal, how? You see? So, if you plan to go on Vima lifelong, but you want a quick one, maybe you can use Herbal Life and then switch on to Vima and whole life take Vima. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't have to change your lifestyle too much. You see? <clears throat> uh, these products are in the market because they do work. But here, we are looking at the long story, the wholesome part of it. Uh, that's what we have to offer. Um, some people even market acai berry concentrate to lose weight. Does it work? It does work. For how long? Not very long. Why does it work? Because of the high antioxidants. Why get acai berry? Get Vima. We give you 3 ounces. That gives you 150% of your daily antioxidant requirement. Okay, that's why I mean I, I'm not a very strong ardent of taking products for weight loss, but looking at our program, it provides you nutritionally balanced weight management without upsetting your lifestyle. So even skinny people can be on the program. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, sure. I, I like questions. You know why? Because you one person asking, I can give the answer to everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like to talk a lot to people. Uh, so they, so last week I met one street guy. He tell me, uh, you know, the cholesterol contains all this blood. He says it's from the gene. It's not uh, really, the food does not affect the, 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 the high cholesterol all this. There was somebody who made the comment that uh, cholesterol levels of blood is not related to the food that you take. Uh, and there is a strong um, genetic element in uh, your blood cholesterol elevation. Uh, I would say he is 51% correct. <laughs> now, they find that about 1% of the people have a genetic element where they cannot handle the excess fat that you take. 
When you're young, you can eat anything that you want. Your cholesterol is normal. What happens? The body knows how to take care of excess cholesterol. Where does it come out? It comes out in the bile. Now, as we get older, these mechanisms also get older. So they do not eliminate all this extra stuff that efficiently. Okay? And we continue to eat like a young person. We may have problems. Later. Now, cholesterol is not 100% related to your food, which is correct. 80% of the cholesterol is produced by the body. So vegetarians who don't take cholesterol, there's no cholesterol in vegetable products. Okay? Vegetables don't have cholesterol. They have studied vegetarians and many of them have high cholesterol. Where do they get it? Because the body produces what it needs. Okay? Now, can it go out of control because of your genetic problem? Yes, in 1% of the people. The rest of them, it is due to lifestyle, stress, and refined food. What is refined food? Food which has been cleared of some nutrition. What is cleared from the nutrition? Usually vitamins and minerals. Because when you refine food, then you can store food longer. If food is not refined, it doesn't last long. That's why white bread, you can leave it on the table for one week, no problem. If you have whole wheat bread you leave in, within two, three days, you will see fungus growing. Even fungus knows which bread has got more nutrition, so they settle there and grow. <laughs> so when you have refined food, less vitamin, less minerals, you have problems now. Now, that's why in Bima, uh, we, we, the, the vitamins and minerals, we give in one serving the whole daily requirement. Of course, you get some more in food, but at least you know for sure you get it. All right, Amy. Yes. Okay, some people are very skinny. <laughs> Actually, you have answered two or three questions at one go. No? There are people who have got normal weight or low weight but can't sleep that well. Rest will really help you to have good sleep. When you have good sleep, your stress hormones are less. And if it happens to you, maybe a person who is underweight, you will put on normal weight. And rest has got 20 grams of protein. It's going to make you look more turgid and better. Ah. Okay. My wife looks like it's better than this. Yes, yes. ah. One month ago, I see a big fantastic. And the protein is more collagen protein, you know. They are selling a lot of collagen to make your skin look better. You should be taking rest. Uh, so we not only get collagen, but we get uh, rest also. Okay, question. Um, let's say if after I finish my 12 weeks program, uh -huh. after I finish my 12 weeks program and I want maintenance, all right, I can always go on burn. I can auto ship burn and pick burn for the rest of my life, for example. All right, or can I choose rest? Yes. Which one is better for me? Depending. So, uh -huh. Yeah. Both are good, equally good, depending on the requirement. If the guy has no problem with sleep, then burn. Now, if you find that he needs uh, something to help him really help get good sleep, but the same effect of the protein and the fat loss, rest. Okay, but if, for, for me personally, I'm the kind of person that um, will start snoring uh -huh. before my head hits the pillow. So I've got no problem with sleeping. But uh, can I still take 
rest, okay, and sleep largely better, and still do sleep. Like I mentioned, if you snore, you may be having a sleep problem. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but anyway, I, I got yeah. sleep apnea. Uh, I went for that operation before. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So I understand what you're trying to say. Uh, but right now, snoring a bit softer, lah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So which one should I go for right okay. now? Now, yeah. if you feel that you're sleeping well, and you want to know whether you really slept well, how do you feel in the morning? If you feel rested, then your sleep was okay. Okay, you don't need rest. I would suggest burn. But if you wake up in the morning and you have slept eight hours and you still feel probably rest would be a better choice. Okay, another question. Somebody is not fat, not thin, very healthy, can run marathons and all that. All right, but they have got insomnia. They suffer from insomnia. Are we able to recommend rest to them? Someone who runs marathon probably requires higher protein consumption. Now, when you need higher protein consumption and you get it from food, uh, you are adding quite a bit of calories. Okay? Someone who runs marathon, the body is under stress. I normally advise people don't run marathon. <laughs> we were not meant to run like that, you see. Uh, I always tell them, remember the first guy who ran the marathon, he died. So, lately, this is coming up because marathon runners are dropping dead. Okay? And the studies they've done on them shows they are getting mineral imbalance. They call it electrolyte. So, if at all they should be taking any product, they should be taking Vima. That's right, because of the mineral content that we have. So rest would be ideal for them. Maybe, if, I mean, those who are heavy into marathon, I would even suggest two cans a night. Mm. All right, all two right. Units, yeah. Good information. Yeah. All right, guys, any other questions? There's a chance, man. No, Angie? As you were carbohydrate food, rice is carbohydrate. The bread, I think most of the food that bread is softer, also carbohydrate. You mean there is no carbohydrate and normal carbohydrate? What is the difference? Yeah, what's the difference? What difference? Now, carbohydrate is a big topic. We need carbohydrates. There are two types simple carbs, complex carbs. <laughs> Vegetable is complex carbs. That's what we we advise you to take. Simple carbs will be rice, bread, prata, mi, um, mihon, koitiao. All these are simple carbs. Okay, so reduce simple carbs. Okay. Uh, one part of the question is bread is also carb. So if I switch to from rice to bread, it is still carb. How is that? Now, when you take rice, we take rice this much. When you take bread, maybe two slices, the flour that goes to make two slices is only this much. If you squeeze the bread, you'll find that the flour is very little. So two, maybe three slices will satisfy you. But you have taken much less flour than the rice. And by the way, some people, not some, quite a few Asians do not tolerate bread on a continuous basis. That's because of this gluten thing. There are a few other things. So to overcome that, I would suggest toast your bread. It's far easier digested than just bread. Just toast the bread. Yeah? But I, I, actually, uh, my mate came over with us after one month. Increased five kg. Because she ate a lot of bread. Yeah. Which country does she come from? Uh, the Philippines. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, white bread or wholemeal bread? Will there be a difference? Will there be a difference between white bread and wholemeal? A lot of studies have been done, and frankly, some of them are not reassuring. 
they find that the difference between a good quality white bread and whole meal isn't very much in spite of the a lot of uh, articles that have come out saying whole meal, whole meal. Huh? They find that some whole meal can raise your blood sugar faster than white bread. So what do we what do we do? I would suggest a good quality white bread is fine. Now what about whole meal? If you're going for whole meal, you must go for a full whole meal. People who sell bread are actually bluffing sometimes, you know. So if you if somebody says this is whole meal bread and the price is only fifty percent more than the white bread, that's not really whole meal. A whole meal, whole meal eh, will be four or five times costlier than yeah. And you get it only from special bakeries. So either this or that. Don't buy the in between. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, white rice, this much. White rice, unpolished rice. Okay? Between the two, which is better? Unpolished rice is better for sure. Now, now they have unpolished rice which looks white in color. So, <laughs> uh, so this brown rice thing is you know, not 100% true right now. You see? Now, um, I feel that the white rice which they say uh, unpolished is actually polished. Now, this rice, they've cross bread and all that. They've got rice now with higher fiber content. So even if they polish it, there's higher fiber. Okay? The true unpolished rice, only Indians take it. So if you're not used to the taste, you will not like it, you see? So you could still go for the white rice, which is high fiber. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right, guys.